Christina Kelty, who will be speaking on understanding energy landscape values and baselines of acceptability on the Mactaquac Dam Head Pond, New Brunswick. Today, 75% of our energy needs are met with fossil fuels. This is problematic as fossil fuels are rapidly depleting and the number one contributor to global warming. It is for these reasons and many others, we're currently moving our direction into renewable energy resources. And this is great. However, what we have to understand is that we'll be seeing renewable energy production and infrastructure in our everyday landscapes. Solar panels on the neighbor's house, wind farms on the side of the highway, and hydro dams on major rivers around the world. This is the basis for my research. How do people perceive, value, and understand renewable energy in their everyday landscapes? My research looked at the Mactaquac Dam in New Brunswick. Constructed in the mid-1960s, it's the Maritime's largest hydroelectric dam. Its construction resulted in a 96-kilometer reservoir, locally known as the Head Pond, flooding thousands of acres and creating great upheaval for communities at the time. Today, less than 50 years later, the dam has reached the end of its lifespan, decades earlier than anticipated. This means a decision has to be made and implemented for the dam by 2030. Three options have been proposed. Rebuild the dam, remove the dam, or leave the basic dam structure in place to maintain the reservoir but no longer produce power. I looked to talk with two different groups of people. Those who knew the landscape prior to dam construction and those who have moved into or grown up in the area since the dam was put in. What I expected to find was those that knew the old landscape and cherished that landscape would want that back and would take the opportunity to support dam removal. On the other hand, those who only knew the present landscape would want to keep the landscape they know and oppose dam removal. Now what I found, however, was that all groups, no matter their experience or time in the landscape, wanted to keep the dam in place. Now at first, this surprised me. I had a group of people who cherished this pre-dam landscape, had the opportunity to bring it back, and they didn't want to. What my research is showing us is that people can learn to love these landscapes of energy and that people may not be against renewable energy for the reasons of aesthetics, as we may have thought, but rather against the renewable energy transition as it's characterized by upheaval and instability. And this makes a lot of sense because most of us just don't like to see change. And so as we look to move forward with the renewable energy implementation, we need to understand how we can catalyze or ease this transition for affected communities. As Socrates once said, the secret to change is to focus all of our energy not on fighting the old, but rather on building the new. Thank you.